Hi, this is uh, Daniel from Daniel Dialatel, and this is a little bit of a another how-to video. Um, so, uh, you might be in a situation where you need to remove a a part off of a PCB board, like like this push button switch, and uh, no matter how hard you try, you just keep solder sucking all the all the solder around all these pins and uh, it still won't come out um, and this is really crucial when um, yeah I, I did a video maybe like a year ago about how what's the best approach to uh, working with gear that have like really weak traces on our PCB boards you have to be careful if you yank on stuff the wrong way you rip out traces and stuff like that um so you uh so i i i have a little uh trick that i use uh now not everyone's going to have one of these so this may not be useful to everyone but if you if you have a hot air pencil which you can find them cheap pretty cheap now these days and if you don't use it all the time you know buying a, a really crappy Chinese one may not be the worst idea um, but if it is something you're gonna use often then you want to buy a nice one because it'll have it'll be from a company that still sells the parts for them and that's the thing with buying cheap tools from China is if if it breaks you know you go back to that company that <laughs> sometimes that company doesn't even exist anymore some of these companies have a real short lifespan and you know can't find the parts for anyway um, so what you can do um, I got this running around uh, 330 uh, Celsius uh, just enough to melt the solder. You have to be careful. Some some of these boards will actually start to char at certain temperatures. So it's a little bit at your own risk type of thing. But I don't mind charring the PCB board actually if it means that the trace the traces are going to be uh, okay. So I got my my forceps. Uh, I love forceps. You know, using them for different things. They're real handy. So, what I'm going to do now, I'll actually crank up the air. So, there's two controls on these air pencils. There's the amount of air that's coming out at once and the temperature. So, these kind of run it back and forth. And you just very very gently start to wiggle the part and you'll start to notice some of the pins will start to start wiggling back and forth um, don't do this too harshly or else you know there we go ta-da yeah that's a really good way of getting these out um, yeah. Okay, that's it.